Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics. Our topic for today is vectors. Our subtopic is a subtraction of column vectors. So you notice in the previous lesson we were able to look at what column vectors are, how do we get their values on the x-axis and y-axis. And then uh, next we have uh, addition of uh, column vectors, you are able to add column vectors. In this lesson, we're going now to subtract column vectors and show that in a graph. So when you subtract two uh, column vectors, common ones, you notice like the values on the x coordinate subtract each other and the values on the y coordinate subtract each other. Uh, so it's the same way we did with addition, but the difference is subtraction. So you have been given A as 3, 7, and B as 2, negative 4, C as negative 3, 4. You have been told to go the value of A minus B. So this is the same as 3, 7, minus 2, negative 4. So this is the same as 3, minus 2, and 7, minus, minus 4. So you need to be careful here because you already had a negative uh, value on the 4, but we are subtracting it. So this is 3 minus 2 is 1, 7 minus minus 4 is going to be 11. So we are going to be showing that on the plane. So we will look at uh, the starting point and the final point, and then you can go ahead and join them. So we are moving one step on the x-axis. So if we if we put our beginning point here, we are moving one step on the x-axis. And then 11 steps on the y axis upwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our terminal point is here, our beginning point is here. Remember your vector is going upwards. So you join these two points to form your vector. Use a ruler. Let's look at another example. So we have uh, A as 4, 7. B as 3, negative 5, and C as 0, 4. You have been told to look for A minus B. So let's look for A minus B. So this is the same as 4, 7, minus 3, negative 5. So this is going to be 4, minus 3, 7, minus, minus 5. So 4 minus 3 is 1, 7 minus minus 5 is 12. So if you were to show that on a plane, it means it's moving one side on the x-axis. So if this is our beginning point, this is one side, and it's positive, and then 12 uh, units on the y-axis and positive. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So our final point is going to be here. So this is our initial point, and then final point, you join using a straight line. Let's look at another example. B minus A. So this is the same as 3, negative 5, minus A, which is 4, 7. So this is the same as so uh, 3 minus 4 and uh, minus 5 minus 7. So this becomes 3 minus 4 is going to be minus 1. And then minus 5 minus 7 is going to be minus 12. So that means you're moving one unit on the y-axis on the left side and 12 units on the y-axis on the downside. So we're going to put our beginning point on top here so that you can have enough space. So if this is our starting point, we are moving one step on the y on the x-axis, and that is on the opposite side, and then 12 steps downwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is going to be our terminal point. So our beginning point is up here. Our uh, terminal point is up here. So you can join these two points to get your vector. Make sure your vector has an arrow. 
And finally, we have C minus A. So our C is equal to 0, 4. And then our A is 4, 7. So if we do this subtraction, it's going to be 0 minus 4 and 4 minus 7. So 0 minus 4 is minus 4, 4 minus 7 is minus 3. So we are moving 4 units on the x-axis on the negative direction and 3 units on the y-axis on the also negative direction. So we can pick our last uh, vector down here. So we can pick this as our starting point. Or uh, we can go even further this side. So if this is our starting point, we'll move three units on the x-axis. So one, two, three, and then up downwards for uh one, two, three, four. One, so one, two, three, four, and then three units downwards, so one, two, three here. So our beginning point is here and our final point is here. So we can join this one, it's easier to join. So this is going to be our vector. So that's how we represent vectors on a graph, especially subtracting them. So sometimes you can have questions where you have been addition and subtraction has been like merged together. Maybe there is a, a third uh, calculation, maybe where you add A plus A minus B and then you add it to C. We never know. So sometimes it just works like that. But with a two dimensional vector, it's very easy. Your work is just to add the x units. And then you also uh, add or subtract the x units. And then add or subtract the y units. And then you get to know how many steps you need to move on the x axis and how many steps you need to move on the y axis. So check out for more revision questions on the app and also notes on the same and then practice also how to add and subtract column uh, vectors. So see you in the next lesson.